Greetings, Commanders, this is Fagan Horde, and we're looking at number 5 of the Lancelot playthrough. Uh, now please do some YouTube stuff, any button will do. As we keep trudging along, uh, after our disastrous start, of Clan's Quick Cell. Speaking of Clan Quick Cell, I do have some decisions to make concerning one of them, which is this Shadowhawk here. Last time I used it, I lost that weapon to enemy fire and lost that weapon because it misfired and destroyed itself. Because of course it did. So, ah, here we are. The thing is, minus two accuracy per range weapon, minus one to piloting. All of that is exceedingly stupid. And without the compact light support thingy, it actually doesn't work. So if we lose that in the head, the, the mech is done. Hmm, because uh, without the compact, uh, these two things cannot fit, and we've seen it before with one of them that we had to trash. Uh, so what do we do with these things? The only viable thing that I saw that we could do with maybe this Shadowhawk uh, was to turn it into a punch bot. Shadowhawks do have affinity for that, right? So if we ever find Battle Fist, uh, and Hell Weapon, that kind, of sh that kind of shit, we could turn it into a punch bot. But until we do, this thing is fairly useless. I would rather run a basic scorpion tank than this. So I think it is time to take the decision concerning our clan Quicksail, and the decision is for you to be stored. And for you to go away. I think I am uh, decided that I'm uh, done with your shit. Goodbye. You're, uh, that's it. We're gonna let the uh, Shadowhawk in storage until we maybe find some uh, melee weapons that we can slap onto it. Until then, I think I'm done. And we're gonna run with what we have here. The Holander, the Spider, the two Foxes, and the vehicles. We have that Spider under, uh, under construction. I could make another spider, but I don't think I will. Uh, one spider is enough. And that's the plan. Decision made. I had enough of these shit. So, what will we do today? Today, we may try a blackout. It once called blackout. I guess the sphere. Six potential salvage. Taking risks again, but why not? Why not? Now I do have a pilot now who can get uh, use that chopper. The Asher is superior to the Scorpion, so we're gonna go and run this. Three, three light mech, two vehicle, and a VTOL. We are worth half a skull, so I guess we have a chance. And I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, can we do a one skull blackout? Let's find out. We are able to land six moderately useful units. Let's see if it works. Werewolves or not. Okay. Uh, I believe we can go straight into that zone, but some of our mechs are now on the second floor here. So, uh, I might have some limitation in movement. Got it. Yeah, the Kit Fox uh, is up here. We'll make it work. Location confirmed. Arctic Fox, let's go straight in. It's lag. There's no more we can find out in the main compound. Okay, so first part is empty. And, uh, well, Location I'll just uh, make the movement and I'll see confirmed. you in a moment. No reason One for you to way. stick around for the movement. Alright guys, so I'm back in position and I'm ready to pop 
the next part. So let's do that with Asher here and his uh, tan evasion. Moving out. Let's see what we got. We have uh, an assault. Okay. An assault uh, that I don't see yet. Talk to me. Standing by. Oh, and Hollander. Confirmed. Do I see them? No, I don't. Uh, Roger. Where the? Oh, okay. A Mercury. A flea. And a locust. It's a Mercury already. It's no. Oh, that's the weird little guy. Yeah. Okay. Waiting for orders. It all can go toward this side. On the move. Pegasus coming in. On my way. And there's some uh, great death strike. What is the strike? I'm not Orders. sure. All right, full speed. Uh, that's a weird place to for them to land. So moving out. We don't have a lot of hit chances, but our lo my long range here. Target confirmed. Can do something, I guess, but they still have some spawn protection, so Damn it all. I should just reserve instead of wasting my shots. Oop. Let's reserve until they all act. Reserving action. So, oh, that thing is fast. Hey, we're getting some help. Sensor lock is really gonna help yes, with those fast moving buggers. On my way. In the 20s. Yeah, alright. That's what I got. In the 20s. Buy everything! Roger that. Reporting critical hit. Hell Mercury! Not good. looking good. Very well, Dragoon! On it. Dragoon is surprisingly not too shabby in its accuracy. Firing full weapon. There we go. Destroy. Waiting on you, Commander. Asher, you may I read you, Commander. have a shot on Moving this out. at 43 with the LRM. There we go. Another hit like that in your That's an touch. arm. Yes, Commander. <laughs> Last but not least. 37 and 9.2. Acknowledged. <laughs> Ooh, that's nasty. That battle armor just annihilated a building in one shot, which means it can do more than 100 damage. Hey there. That's not nice. On my way, double time. That's not nice at all. Locking in all weapon systems. Luckily, I have enough machine guns on most of my vehicles to uh, handle them, I think. I hope. Good to go. 0 0.9. 11. 0 0.9. Roger that. Firing on target. Ooh, here it comes. Damage is light. Yeah. Fast moving flea. On my way. In the 21s and the side shots. In the 42s. Locked on. There we go. How can I help? The MRM is working quite well. I'm moving. On the little fox. We have a big fox and a little fox. Roger that. That's a big one. Pilot is bleeding out Take too. That as a lesson. Orders? I might let bleed out. Moving to position. 1343. Well, or not. Now let's see how you handle this. Yeah, you didn't get to bleed out. Target neutralized. Okay. Good to go. I'm gonna send the, the VTOL after this seemingly very dangerous grade that heavy. Seems to have fired some of their missile Firing. Full into confident. the building. That's a good thing. C4 
seems to alternate between gray, death, heavy, Mama and holding. strike. I've got your back. Arctic Fox. 50% on the uh, light PPCs is no joke. Alright, well, I think it just stood there Waiting and shot. Forward. So I should get good hit chances now. Confirm. There we go. Bit uh, sad to destroy a mask, but yes, boss. we don't have very precise people at the moment. Roger. Firing. What can I do for you? Don't need to tell me twice. There we go. Let's get this machine gun working. Gotcha. Yeah, critical hit. And goodbye. Commander. I copy. What's up, boss? Holander, Holander. Well, you don't be able to do much way. this turn. All right, so uh, I'm uh, game to make a cut here because uh, this guy's just gonna be taking pot shots at a uh, battle armor. It's uh, my vehicles are not too shabby in terms of machine gun, so it's just gonna have to be bringing the Pegasus up there. Uh, I got this, so I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, so this went very well and very easy but let's be honest we got lucky than the first uh, the part one had nothing but nonetheless maybe this makes me confident enough to uh go to 1.5 skull next we might we might not really interested in a mercury so might as well disassemble it I mean, let's grab the endo steel. Even if it's inner sphere, this still will allow us to create some, you know, some basic mechs that are got some stuff. Medium pulse, ER medium, ER smalls. Well, none of this is uh, mind boggling. It is quite better than what we had. So we can build like a little pulse boat with uh, some of these stuff. Cool. So that will be that. I'm probably gonna get everything anyway. Well, so <laughs> uh, let's keep the basic flamer. Let's, uh, let's keep the C3 slave. Let's get rid of a uh, basic that's standard. Let's keep one fusion engine around. Uh, if we ever go find a primitive mech, uh, you can just slap a standard fusion engine on it to replace uh, the base, the primitive stuff. So let's keep one in the uh, in inventory for now. And I'll see you guys in a moment. Maybe we can dare go for 1.5. Well, that went surprisingly well. So uh, we didn't even have any repaired to do at all so let's go right into let's up the ante let's go to 1.5 there we go let's fight draconis combined and not the republic of the sphere because they could be uh spicier let's start with that see if we can uh bank some dracos Very well, let's go right in with the same crew, the same thing, but let's uh, up the NT to 1.5 skull, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so our last easy battle made us feel a wee bit confident, or maybe overconfident, and we're going over at 1.5 skull. Well, to be honest, it's all about RNG. 1.5 skull, skull can sometimes drop a heavy mech on you, or nothing. Is eh. We'll see. All right, so that's a classic. Let's drop uh, over here. What I do like in the early game is how fast the battles will go. Instead of a one hour and a half slog. All right, so where's she? A Strider and a Cicada. Mm, and Pack Rat. These are allies? 
Okay, sure, I'll take allies, even if they're a weird place. Let's not go too far ahead. The cicada and the strider. Strider is a little omni, inner sphere omni that you can do a few things with. In our uh, last season, it was the one of the first mechs we got. We made some good use of it. Aye, aye. Copy that. So I see only two of them so f No, three of them. And Owens. Alright, alright. So these guys, they're not heavy, but they are good mechs of that tonnage. Strider is no joke, 600 armor and some weapons. And Owens and another uh, 35 Omni, which you can do a few things with. Good to go. So I would not mind either of these. I doubt I'll get any shots done with uh, the Holander, so for now you're gonna reserve. I'm ke I'll keep the Holander like for last in case uh, somebody's destabilized or something else happens. Move order received. Then I may do some damage with it. Good hits Commander. on the Strider. Yep. Looking out. Uh, fire some Six missiles. Nine. Yes, Commander. Let's go up here on the hill and get a side shot. Damn, that thing is accurate. Awesome. Side attack. Size Delta minus one. Huh. We have a Size Delta bonus? Intriguing. I've got your back. Arctic Fox next. Arctic Fox is not too shabby in his accuracy either. We have some nice numbers. Giving him everything I've got. He's already exposed. It's a good start. They, uh, let's see uh, what they fire back. Who's first? The Strider. Alright, alright, alright. We're okay. Next is Owen. And Owen is like an Omni Jenner, really. Ah, we got a tag on the Holander, okay. Yes, Commander. Can you? It's a 50. But I'm not gonna take that risk. On it. 28 or 28. I'm gonna choose 28. Confirmed. 22, pardon me. Alright. No joy. One of the little ally is still in play. A defender light tank. That was a that was an attempt. What can I do for you? Asher. Asher, let's go over here Hi, and see defender. what we Moving have. Mm-hmm. Let's go with that. Crank the machine gun. Let's put the heavy flamer to the old one. Oh, cool. Cicada, what do you got? A 3G. I'm not sure I know what the 3G is. Is that too large laser? How can I help? Alright, so both of these fellows are now in melee range. But our melee is only 50% and um, our, we've, our success with melee has been very uh, mitigated. All weapons are go. Very bad. So I'm not gonna bother. Light damage, Commander. I don't feel like... Uh, mm, 65 on a charge. I don't feel like uh, being uh, stuck in a bad place with uh, no evasion. Which is what killed a lot of our uh, quick sell work? crap. Copy that. Nice. Solid connection. I'm on explosion. On Good to go. 
Dragoon, Dragoon is being very accurate. I love it. Atomic. Beagle probe crit. Reporting. Critical he panic. That might be a full strider right there. Waiting for orders. Location. I can get a full strider. I Body kind of have a decent lineup of light mechs. Uh, which one will be next? Oh. Okay. Damage. That's Critical. just an empty arm for the whole ender. You don't have anything in there. Still not the best. Yeah, the whole ender is an awkward spot right now. I hear ya. Asher. Let's put you here and see what's Moving the best out. hit chances. They are exactly the same. Hey, we did get a hit. Orders. All right, Holander. Uh, let's uh, at least get you out of out of uh, Owen's range and get another twenty-two. Copy that. Yeah, I'm. Holander sort of works, but big guns like this in the early game, it's uh, to go. not usually very good. Um, the best thing would be to uh, give him another gun. Copy that. Something like an LBX, who has a uh, ch better chance to hit. Got the aim. Taking the shot. You have an XL on that cicada. That's good. impressive. Hey there. Let's uh let's uh let's uh do another back strike. On my way. On your tail. Got it. Target eliminated. Twelve. Twelve. Excel engine and three hundred and twenty engine on a little cicada. Oof. Oh you're trying to get the VTOL. Receiving you. All right, Hollander. Let's see if you can pull off a shot. Double time. Let's go. Thirty-seven. Firing full no. complement on enemy. No luck. Talk to me. Arctic Fox. You probably have better hit chances. Here we go. Nice. Reasonable. Reasonable. Commander. Let's uh, move the dragoon then into the same flank that we just hit. Full speed. No target. Roger. Nice. You are now open just at the right spot, and the leg is not looking good. good. Go. Asher, please head to his On misery. Got it. Did you well, that went well. Surprisingly well. I guess with this crew, we can now handle uh, one and a half. And maybe start uh, looking down the barrel of some mediums. Very good. I'll see you guys in a moment. Mission. So that went surprisingly well, our first one and a half. Uh, yeah, the whole ender... It's not being uber useful. Okay, so... Wait, I can pick any of them. Let's see what my options are. You ejected and uh, your engine is okay. So that's... Probably the best choice. The cicada, we blew the engine. There's not much left. Yeah, it had an XL and all that. But, you know, four energy and one missile, there is something to do with that thing. I'm going to take the Strider because it's a 40 tonner. Disassemble the rest. Got another energy accuracy, but we already have one in stock. Sensor sniper is nice. Got a beagle probe, got an ER large. Take the beagle probe. Ferro fibrous, we have two in store, and then those steel, we have four of it already. Sensor sniper, it is. With the, uh, 
with an energy accuracy, we might uh, be able to do the, another energy bolt with the Strider and get something cool on the battlefield. Very nice. See you guys in a moment. We'll see if we can uh, do something out of a Strider. Alrighty then. So we got a Strider. Little seven days of repair. Which will be mostly for our poor Holander. See what we can do with that thing. It is an Omni, uh, an Sphere Omni. It is not a perfect machine, by far, but compared to what we've been playing with, I think we can handle that. So the Omni Mac Gyro, the standard Fusion Engine, the Engine Core 240, it's all there. The case comes with it. The C3 Slave. Uh huh. Medium pulse and streak MR uh, SRM twos are just fine. Uh, what's your cooling like? Heat efficiency is not efficient. Uh, do we give you a better heat sink? We have some of these uh, lying around, the quick cell one. They are not great, but they will do for that thing. He gives us the heat efficiency we were looking for. Two medium pulse and two streaks. Hmm. If I, I'm going to remove the streaks, because anyway, I don't think I have ammo for it. The tag, the C3 slave. Right now, we don't have what it takes to create a C3 network. So not for now. The Beagle probe. It's pretty cool. If, like I was saying a moment earlier, we go down the energy boat route. And we give you... I should sell all my quick sell crap. Four medium balls. I mean, that's a lot of pew, and that is some accurate evasion ignore pew. So, uh, one evasion ignore, one accuracy, and then we give you energy accuracy on top. You should be accurate, no? It has endo steel, and I do have some ferrofibrous lying around. So now you have 2.3 tons remaining. Uh, how's the cooling? You're at 8. There you go. You are heat neutral. Max armor. It's not perfect armor, but that would be, in theory, up to 120 damage of accurate pew pew. It is very short range, though. You are a very short range boat, and you will be thus more of a backstabber. With the tag. Yeah. I think that will do. I think that will do as a nice brawler. Do I have sensors? Might as well. Sniper. Sniper. Sure, why not? View master, no thank you. <laughs> so six days for an accurate... Uh, medium pulse boat I'll take it it might do better work than the Holander shouldn't be too hard we're gonna put the strider ahead of the Holander I intend to use it next and we're gonna attempt a another 1.5 one one and a half 1.5 ish because uh I think we got this. I think uh, we're finally starting to 
get off of the mire we were in. Let's do another battle. This time might be a bit spicier against the Republic. And uh, you're gonna get the Strider. Which will unlock, um, because of your ability, evasion gain, plus one to all pilot skill. That's actually pretty neat. Very good. I'll see you guys in a moment. Last mech standing. Let's see if our good luck will hold. Command interface. Stand up fight, three lines against them. Okay. Hey, some help. Uh, heavy rain. Very well. So a little storm, a little rain. Will good be good for a heat sink. Let's see if we can manage it. Sure, stealthed battle armor. I don't like to see that. And an Arctic Fox. Cool. I've got your back. And uh, some allies is a uh, Withworth. Striker MK1L. And uh, Command Van. Sure. Okay, so for now, let's not go in direct fire. Let's stand behind Perfect. our little hill. And uh, now we have some tunnel rats as well. Aye, aye. Uh, tunnel rats and a Kit Fox. But it's probably going to be reinforcements, because that's a bit too low, right? Roger. Ready for orders. You want fast? I can give you fast. That's not a lot for a uh, one and a half. It's got to be reinforcements. Yes, Commander. Vital, Vital, go. We. Double time. Let's go. Okay, first one up is the Pegasus, which tracks. Let's be aggressive then. Pegasus will be needed with its machine gun to go take on the battle armor, so might as well send it to the fray. At 18 is uh, one of our allies. Eh. Ooh. Nighthawk has, uh... Is that in order? Alright, well, I'm not gonna engage the battle armor with our mechs just yet. I'm gonna go pew at the other Arctic Fox. What do you got? One large pulse laser and one ERPPCs. Wow. Waiting for orders. Strider, you two should not be engaging battle armor, so... Let's move. Let's do... Just shuffle about. At 14, it is a set of Kit Fox. Who will... Uh, well, it, it does have an ERPPC. I would hate to be hit with that. Good to go. Especially in these uh, early game. Not much would be left of uh, whatever gets battle. hit. Tell me what to shoot. Hey, stand still when I'm a... Good to go. Uh, uh, uh. I can pop out over there and do some views. No, oh, unsettled. Oh, we oh, got another Nighthawk. So this is the... Okay. Three battle armor group. Send the VTOL in. On my way. That's not what I expected out of a one and a half skull battle, to be quite honest with you. Hey there. Uh, does that mean we have to go all the way to two skull to be challenged? Firing on rear arc. Or challenged by mech, I mean. Commander. Just don't tell your fear to rogue tech. Moving out. Got it. Yeah, that looks like some sort of mortar. Waiting on you, Commander. Very well, so I'm gonna use you and your machine gun to go uh, tackle you, these things. Uh, let's go full machine gun and heavy flamer. Commencing alpha strike. There we go. There's more where that came from. It's a micro grenade launcher. All right. Waiting for orders. 
Kit Fox, we're gonna stay away from the battle armor and we're gonna take pot shot at the mech. Move order received. Even if it is very bad hit chances. Lucky that one. Oh nice. Armored gloves, sure. Receiving you. Let's see Good. if we Moving can queue a bit. Firing a full salvo. Your tag got in. I've got your back. Moving at a sprint. I'm firing on the enemy. All right, guys. So well, I'm gonna make a cut here. I think. Uh, I think that's not gonna be an interesting battle. I'm just gonna take pot shots at battle armor until they die. Uh, and I guess we should go straight to a. Two skull mission then. No sweat. Hmm, maybe. See you in a moment. Hey, we're getting outflanked. All right, so that went fast. surprisingly well, but you didn't miss much. Uh, just uh, uh, just uh, bot shotting battle armor. You just have to keep out of their range for swarm and just use a machine gun. There's not much to it. Sure, I get another kit fox, I guess. And parts of these that I don't want, I should just trash them. There we go. See you guys in a moment. So we got ourselves another kit fox. I don't know... <laughs> one day and 185, wow. I don't know if I'm actually gonna build it. I think we have a solid lineup in the uh, light mechs right now. I don't know if I need another one in the 30 ton category at this point I want to go up uh, uh, uh. but I could salvage an ERP PC out of it which is worth it so yeah I'm not gonna build uh, another Arctic Fox I'm just gonna trash it make a bit of dollars and I think we can start aiming toward light medium mix and I think things are going so well that I might actually cancel the spider and get rid of it. I don't think we're gonna need the spider. Scrap the spider. Scrap the spider. Uh, you... What was your problem? You lost an arm last time. Okay, that. On it. Job's done. Marvelous. I think we can squeeze in a fourth mission. Things have been going fast enough. And I think I don't have a two skull, but let's try a one and a half defense. Which could bring some very dangerous foes. One and a half defense to finish the episode in a jungle. Mm, let's see if we can manage it. See you guys in a moment. All right, can we do wolves? Can we do a one and a half defense? Maybe. I wanted to go all the way up to two skulls, but then we didn't have any available on this planet. But the defense uh, of three against three lances can get gnarly, as we've seen in our last one. With uh, okay, we get some help. A storm again, typhoon. Demanding mission, eight. So additional support, turrets, okay. So this is the exact same map we've done uh, last episode. But we are a bit harder in theory. So let's see what they will bring this time. Sir Phoenix, that's the uh, primitive Phoenix 50 tonner, the Sand Devil. Technical and a Clint. Okay. I'm actually uh, happy that the Phoenix shows up because that's another of, the, of those primitive. But if we improve it, we could get a 50 ton on, on our head. So, let's move. For now, let's stay on top of our little hill so we can shoot down. Ready for orders. Maybe the whole ender would have been better and that one actually to shoot down from up here. 
In terms of allies... Hunter... Weapon carrier... Goblin... Okay. Not much. A raptor. Raptor could do some... some damage. Going full throttle. Talk to me. Light PPC sniping will be very good from the top. Waiting for orders. Uh, 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 I can send the vehicle in. Affirmative. Receiving you. And send a dra dragoon on the side like this. Roger that. No shooting. Just running. Okay. Sand Devil. Sand Devil is not that dangerous, if I remember well. Yeah, just lasers. Commander? Pegasus. Pegasus doesn't have a shot. These are too far away for these I'll weapons. Our little fox there, though. Moving out. 43. And 74. Aye, aye. There you go. Good to we go. already have a phoenix in distress. I'm gonna go in with the Strider. You are Hold short range, no so you target. might as well. Only your tag is reaching. I'm gonna have to be That's careful not to be fooled by the tag Good to with go. the short range of his weapon. Coordinates received. Eh, sure. These primitive mechs, they do go out easily. Heavy damage. And if it would stack Paul in the middle of his friend right now, that would be a that would be a win. So Clint or the Raptor, pardon me, now the Clint. What do you got, little guy? Oh, going for the buildings, okay. Bastard. I hear ya. Asher. There you go. Let's finish off this poor dude. There you go. Alright. Gotcha. Sure, no stack pull this time. Hopefully there's gonna be more than one part left of that thing so that uh, we can perhaps salvage a 50 tonner, however primitive it may be. Oop, oop, oop. That's actually a reasonable yeah, amount of mines. Real Turrets. Hmm, yeah. How much damage did you take from the mines? The knife have, uh, mines have been nerf, unnerfed, nerf, nerfed, uh, unnerfed. Uh, I, I have no clue if it is actually viable right now. How's it going? They, you see, they're usually a bit of change sometimes in a new patch. Roger. Well. Here we go. Last but not least, it is the Sand Devil. Two of its weapons are broken. Mm, turret whiffing. Okay. All right, we have our kit fox first. On my way. Spew. Gotcha. How are we at 17? Oh, Raptor is coming in for some uh, actually reasonable hits. Waiting for orders. Strider, might as well. Let's get no in there. Shooting. Just running. 50% on the pews. A little disco ball of death. Inflicted some heavy damage. AC5 pirate, medium 5 pirate. Okay. Medium laser pirate. What you gonna do there, Clint? Still okay. Firing at the building and missing. You're not having a good time. 
Uh, I fear I would take a lot of mines if I do that. Well, let's test it out. Are those mines dangerous or not? Acknowledge. Landmine explodes at 12. Well... This... Okay. It's almost one damage per mine. Roger that. Dangerous enough that I should think about it now with the uh, basic light mech. Once you get to the assault phase, those mines are just scratches yeah, on the man. paint. But for now, for now, that is a wee bit of damage. Tart. Boink. Who's next? Uh, we have somebody at 10. Alright. You're another primitive engine. And a panic. I'll take it. Dragoon! Uh, some green numbers. How are you doing there, Sand Devil? So we struck on the side even though we attacked the from behind. Some weird stuff happens like this with vehicles. I don't really have an angle, we're just gonna attack him directly. And there you go. Okay, so that's good. That's good. But let's see what the future will hold. Uh, let's hope we don't have some uh, magic reinforcement like last time. I'm gonna go back on top of my right. hill. On my way. Prepared for the next round and see way. what will happen. Moving to position. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Okay. So we have some down there. That's good. Ooh, transport. Interesting. Another little mercury. Hey there. Right now they have spawn protection, so I'm gonna play the reserve game. Then we get an ally at 14, which is this little raptor and the, the weapon carrier. Hey, you landed some hit despite the uh, spawn protection. Cool. Uh, what's that? A striker MK2. The MK2s are actually not bad. Thank you. Alright, so we have another group down there. This group consists of a blackjack. That's uh, another primitive blackjack with two medium rifle. Sure. Another one of those uh, Phoenix. This one with the Thunderbolt. Buster Holler with lar four times large chem in a Toro. Okay. Waiting for orders. Very well. Very well. But I'm still reserving because uh, spawn protection. There goes the transport. Reserving some more. And some more. There's a few of them at 10. After these three, we can start making some move. See if we can hit them. Mm, yeah, that's the Thunderbolt one. One more reserve. Let's the three at 10 act out. Then we're gonna have some targets. That's the jack. What else is at 10? The Mercury. The Mercury being a bit fast, sometimes they take a while. Ooh, so... 
reasonable hit. Talk to me. All right, so I'm gonna turn this way aye, aye. to take on the ones who hacked it down there. There we go. You have some damage reduction, but they are easier targets. So I'm gonna turn this way. What do we have at nine? Probably that little striker. Yeah, we have the striker and we have the buster hauler at seven. All right. A little bolt-on AMS doing the job. What can I do for you? Asher, you're gonna turn your attention this Got way it. as well. Roger that. Firing on target. Some hits on the striker. Commander. Strider, Strider, you can go play with them. I don't think I'll melee. That would be too dangerous. But I can backstrike. Roger. Full speed. Backstrike and full pew. Firing a full salvo. Nice. Ready for orders. True. So, Pegasus, uh, do we go down to play with them or do we stay up? I think we can afford to go down. To fire everything. I think I hit something good. Yes, Commander. Dragoon. Move order received. Giving them everything I've got. There we go. One Hang primitive down. jack down. Receiving you. Kit Fox, you can stay on that side. On my way. So we're doing good. We are doing good. I think we could have enough Phoenix part. Ooh. They punched through my defense. You just you just hit me in the back, right? You stupid goddamn. Okay. Getting another kill but by, by allies in the back would be bad. I think I'll have to, uh, I'd like to keep those to a minimum. Get Fox ending in there. Need something, Chief? Alright, Pegasus, I think you can afford to go in and play. I mean, we can get a side shot from here. On my way, double time. There we go. Target confirmed. Take that. 13. 13 is uh, the weapons carrier, which is a large laser. Please don't hit me in the back. Okay. Took a swing at the Mercury. That's fine. Said Mercury is next. Or that, or the Toro, okay. What do you got? Okay, our Raptor. You're not looking too good there, buddy. What's it gonna be? All right, all right. Fighting back against the Strider. Good to go. Asher. Let's see what we can do from here. What's the ally at ten? It is the Goblin. SRMs. No oh, reasonable hits. Orders. Orders. Okay, Arctic Fox, let's get out of the way of our allies so that we don't get shot in the back again. Roger. What do you need? Kid Fox. Taking the shot. What's up, boss? Strider, can you go for another back shot? Can you reach? Yes, you can. That is why I made you a pew pew beast. Here comes. There we go. You're gonna be useful, little strider. Come 
Commander. Okay, so what's the best? Uh, Toro, Phoenix, hey, some green numbers on the buster. Uh, ally turn at 8. Not sure which one is that. Oh. Oh. 6 must be one of the turrets. And uh, the Phoenix. That was a Thunderbolt. It could have done damage. Some hits. We got a fast one at 15. Who's that? The Toro. Toro's a basic little guy at uh, 35 ton. I've used them before. They're about the. Holding. They're equivalent of a Panther or something like that. Just a wee bit of different hard points. Affirmative. Aye, aye. That was a critical hit. Uh, this poor fellow is panicking. I would be too. At 12, it is the Raptor. You could uh, take out a striker or not. Receiving you. Pegasus, go play with them. Bring the machine gun, go crit seeking. There we go. Bad guy down. So another primitive down. They're relatively easy to take down. They're prone to go kablooey. Uh, we just have this striker to finish. This fellow. Striker MK2 is a good vehicle. I would take that to replace our Asher, maybe. The Asher is useful for its machine guns when we have to deal with battle armor, so. Commander. Maybe not. Receiving you. Strider, can you melee? Yeah, you can. Uh, it's a charge, though. I don't want to do that. Let's just go in and pew. Copy that. Nice. I think that little strider will be useful. I hear ya. And I think with this group, we are definitely ready uh -huh. to go to some higher difficulty. I think we can handle something like a two skull now. I'm. Um, I will try and get a two skull for the next uh, episode. Copy that. I think we have a good, good enough group now. Of course, I've been surprised. I've done two skull missions, and uh, we have we had Orions trying to kill us, so it was not very funny. We never know. That is the uh, randomness of the skull mission. Alright guys, well, I got this. I got this. They're, they're, they are not dangerous. So, I'll, I'm gonna mop this up, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay. That was almost too easy. Never tempt Rogue Tech and say it was too easy. I said almost. Our greatest damage was getting shot in the back by one of our allies. Classic. But there is some good salvage on that one. I could potentially make myself a 50 tonner. I imagine most of them have 
or blown away. So let's take two parts of this, two parts of this. If these two uh, models are compatible, we would have a phoenix. Let's grab... Well, we have two of them. I was going to say let's grab an, an engine core for that guy. Precision ammo could be da damn useful. Two efficient pip ignored with that. Let's see. All right, so I don't need to disassemble anything. It seems that everything and everyone blew up into pieces. Such things happen when I'm present. There is enough part of a striker to actually build it. Uh, should I? Or should I pick up more stuff? I mean, Thunderbolt 10 is a viable weapon. I'm not sure. I mean, ammo for Thunderbolt 10. We do have a Thunderbolt 10 in stock, but no, with no ammo. So let's take the ammo. Let's take the precision stuff, because precision ammo is always exceedingly important. And then I'm going to take two parts of that striker and cross fingers. We do have still parts of our own striker uh, MK1 lying around. If these are compatible, we can build the MK2. And it's a viable little tank. Cargo truck, cargo truck, striker, striker, striker. We have the striker. We have an AC5 with now with precision ammo. That we could use on something. Medium rifle, I'm not interested. Armor primitive, basic. Engine 240, we surprisingly already have two of them. I'm actually gonna take that structure and take that as a that's cooling as mostly because if you want to build a primitive mech, you can patch the primitive structure with a regular structure. So uh before I if we get to build our 50 tonner, it might be useful. Machine gun tracer is great. LRM, sure. Okay, that's the choice. So uh, follow me in a moment to uh, conclude the episode. And we're going to see if quickly if we can build that Phoenix. The building itself will be next episode. But let's just quickly find out if we can make it happen. And I'll see you guys in a moment. So we got a nice little five days of repair. I'm gonna make this quick because uh, this, I believe this is my first time with four mission in one episode. But let's just make this quick and see if we can build a 50 tonner. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I'm gonna make the striker. That mech you wanted is back and then uh, which one of them we will do. Both one of them is one ballistic and four missiles. This one is right arm accuracy. Cool. And this one is right arm accuracy. So they're both exactly the same. A first generation battle mech, the 50 ton Phoenix, with the first native battle mech to be built in the Rimworld Republic. Component and powered by the 240. It's a retro tech design produced by Zvana. Uh, you know, carry 185 and a pair of SRM2s. Okay. Well, we just got an AC5 with precision ammo. We just have uh, and a few missiles. We could build, also build ourselves a reasonable medium. But that, guys, is going to be for next episode. So please stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching until the end. Please do some YouTube stuff in the buttons will do to support a small channel like this one and spread the love of Battletech and Rogue Tech. Any button will do. And I will see you next time. Thank you.